Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Landon and we are here again today for another new music review video. So, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for all of the support on the last two BTS videos that I have done. So I've done their brand new album reaction as well as their new music video on reaction and overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm usually really good about answering all my comments back and everything, but you guys flooded everything and I just wanted to say to each and every one of you, thank you so much for putting the time and effort into commenting, letting me know all this awesome information about these boys here because I missed a lot, okay? <laughs> so all of you suggested that I get to know the boys a little bit better. So I wanted to do that because I'm tired of being like, oh, that one right there, that one right there. I would love to know them by name. So with that being said, you guys suggested some videos for me to watch. I have just decided to watch This Is BTS Crash Course to a World Sensation 2020 by Sugar and Spice. So shout out Sugar and Spice for compiling all of this, but I am very excited to get to know these boys. <laughs> So I'm gonna post this video today, and then tomorrow I'm going to post a video of me reacting to them performing Black Swan on James Gordon. Mm. So subscribe right now, turn on notifications so you can be ready for that tomorrow. Without any further ado, let's learn more about these boys. I need information, I need knowledge, and I have no idea what's going to happen when I click this play button. So we're gonna find out together. Okay, let's learn. BTS in this bitch, BTS. I showed my roommate the video for On, and he was like, and I was like, I know, right? One more thing really quickly. I know you guys have been saying too that I don't need to cut videos for copyright when I react to their stuff, but this is not going to be on their channel. So I'm a little confused by that. What video specifically can I play all the way through? Cause maybe I'll do like a live stream or something of me reacting to that if I don't have to cut them. But for now I'm gonna cut this one cause I am nervous. Until BTS gets here. Highest grossing engagement in the venue's box score history. The first Korean band ever to sell out the landmark venue of Time Magazine. Yeah. They've crossed over with uh, the mainstream pop music. So also, by the way, that music in the beginning where it was all those hype, like, is that part of their music? Because that was hype. <laughs> and I want to go listen to it. <laughs> I'm also loving all of this news press. They are really a global sensation, honestly. First group since the Beatles to earn three number one albums in less than a year. Jesus Christ, you guys are very freaking huge. Wow. Oh my God. Here, they're ready to begin and you guys are like, oh. They're getting their love from Cardi B. Okay. She said, how did y'all do this? That's what I was saying too. How did they do this? How did they get so big with not speaking English? Not that it's a bad thing at all. I'm just like, it's mind blowing how they are able to be on the level of the Beatles releasing three albums in one year. Number one, and it's not even English. Okay. How? <laughs> there were these underdogs mm. in the industry. Co Korea K pop is so competitive. You have hundreds of groups. When BTS came out, they had maybe a few albums out, mm. and they hadn't really made it in Korea or anywhere. Oh, their dorm rooms look, they were sleeping in like all oh, the same room, and now I bet they each have their own mansion. They better be paying these boys right. I will tell y'all that. That's one thing that I, I've heard a lot of the industry where like a lot of these groups don't actually make the money and they better be getting their coins because they are making their waves. I don't think any company should be making money off of these people except these boys. So let me know if they'd be making money. <laughs> um, they were really just kind of cutting their teeth, I guess, just trying to figure out what their sound and what their image and their look was gonna be. Really? Because their choreography and their charisma and the way they do things, people were like, is that magic? <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> He's like, I just, my dream is to win best artist. Why not dream big? I'm like, yes. Go J-Hope. I think we should dream big. So 
they really were the underdogs here. Like, that's crazy to me. I guess I just always assumed that most K-pop bands and most K-pop groups came out of a formulaic need to make everything perfect. But, like, so far I'm learning that these boys worked so hard to get where they are with a company that was in bankruptcy and now to win all these awards and they didn't even expect this to happen, you know? That's the humbleness that gives me the chills. I love that. <sighs> Okay, so RM is the only one that really speaks English fluently. Is that what I just read here? Also, <laughs> he got to meet Drake and he was fangirling over Drake when everybody fangirls over him normally. <laughs> <laughs> We are so happy that we can be a part of this with our friends. Every moment is a precious memory. Every moment is a precious memory. Ah! <laughs> They really out here, he's like every second trying to learn English just so he could speak to his fans. Like it's not about making the money or not about having a bigger market to make more music for, it's like just specifically for the fans. That is beautiful. Thank you, V. Can be a... Uh-huh. Can be a... Uh-huh. Can be a... Uh -huh. Can be a... Hey, what do you want them to know? Because they, they are everywhere. Oh, every good. moment is a precious memory. Ah! We're so happy that we can be a part of this with our fans. <laughs> <laughs> He tried so hard and that was the moment. I love that we got the behind the scenes look at that and then to see him all the red carpet saying that. That is dope. That is dope. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> no no. <laughs> They do not have friendship bracelets from Halsey. I love that. Halsey's like, listen, I'm gonna hang out with these underdogs here because she was an underdog too. She's like, I don't care. They don't speak my language. These are my friends. And that makes me love Halsey more now. I felt left out and they gifted me my own sponsor <laughs> What do you think about the Grammy Museum? Also, let. Let's <laughs> 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 What was just going on on stage? Okay, I saw them all chained up in boxes, and then there was, I don't, they didn't, they're not introducing their names to me, and that's what I wanted to see in this video, so I'm kind of sad that I'm not getting that. Might have to watch another one, but the dance choreography with the jacket and the hand, what was that? The Who album of songs that told a very specific story. You guys are doing exactly the same thing in your own way. And we talked about schools, and then we talked about youth, three albums, and then folks grow up. You know, life is supposed to be very... Somebody doesn't love themselves, and they could love nobody. Okay, I see what they're saying here. So they're kind of saying that all, each of their albums are more of a big story instead of individual songs. So it may be hard to kind of understand each individual song as its singular self, but when it put it all together, it creates a works of art. I loved how they had the three albums for their school years, three albums for their youth, and now this must be the seventh one, this must be them growing up, which is cool, where I jumped in at when they're kind of growing up so I can go back and see their past as children. I like that. So the first album sold 5,000 units in its first week. And their most recent album, Persona, before the newest one, sold 2.1 million in the same time. Talk about a come up. like I'm kind of sad that I'm it's kind of ruining all the early stuff for me I wanted to react to it but it's just a little snippet so it's fine but I can see there is so much diversity in their music already that is insane to me how they've been doing it for so long and I'm just jumping on this bandwagon what the hell <laughs> Not 
I will say, like, through the little quick history of all their albums and stuff, you see that budget going up. They are like, okay, we have the ability to work with some crazy set designs and things now. We are going to use our money not for ourselves and our cars and stuff like that. We're going to use this to make the best art that we can make. And that is something that I definitely respect. <laughs> I'm really loving how they have a set of albums that is telling a whole love story now. Like the first one is Falling in Love, the second one it grows, Love Grows to Silence and Our True Selves. Like I love how this more than just stereotypical pop like, Oh yeah, I play my song and dance to the beat, yeah. I dance the night away and dance it with me, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just glad that it's not that. And that's what I think that everybody in the comments was always telling me it's really about the lyrics and I'm, they were glad that I started trying to get to know the lyrics and I can see now that the lyrics are a huge part of this. So that is even better. I'm learning Korean tomorrow, promise. <laughs> love how they're drawing in elements of, you guys know that I was a dancer, so these are elements of contemporary and lyrical that they're throwing in here too with these isolations that it makes it such an impactful dance. It's not just a typical shimmy shake that ass type thing. I love that too. Okay, so the last album in this one kind of says that the person that you need to be loving is yourself. And the song Idol celebrates self-love and the aspects of themselves as Korean artists and pop idols telling haters they can mind their business. And I love that. I'm rich. Y'all broke. We made it. Y'all did it. Ha! Better. They didn't say that because they were very humble. But that's what I would say. <laughs> Just kidding. I am so not like that. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't realize that this was the album that I listened to yesterday is the second in the next set of stories. So the first one was Persona, and now this is happening now. Okay, so they're saying that it's gonna take an interesting dark turn based on the clues in the music videos and concepts. I, is, did the album that I just listened to take the dark concept? I guess I did see some of those meanings, but now I'm just so confused because there's so much depth. <laughs> So the audience and the staff planned to surprise them while they were on stage? How does that happen? I am so confused. I'm getting chills pretending like I'm them. Like what would I think if I had just done all of this work? And then the fans are, oh. <laughs> Imagine the feeling of you being on stage and not knowing that all those fans were there. And then what I think got me is the one, the moment where in the background, you could see all the lights in the back. And just imagine everybody singing to them and they had no idea. And just like, uh, why is this working me up? Oh my God, did I just get emotional from BTS? Oh my God. Y'all are ruining my life. Each and every one of you are ruining my life. You're like, you got plans, cancel them. You got future goals, cancel them. You got any aspirations, cancel them. What do you do? Dive into the world of BTS instead. Why is this hitting on an emotional level? I'm still very upset they didn't have to go through a breakdown of the members of the group, but I'm going to learn. I have to learn. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so it tells me that I need to watch the Who is BTS seven members of Bang Tan. <sighs> I guess I need to do that then. <laughs> I need to learn these members. Okay, so that was so informative for the basis of BTS and who they are as a band. But yeah, like I said, I would love to get to know them individually. And I thought this video was gonna be a little bit of a way to explain all of that to me. I guess not. I need to watch the longer version one. <sighs> Help. How do I schedule plans when there's so much to watch? Okay, let's see what I can do. Okay, so I took a minute, uh, got myself together and, um, Reevaluated my life after having an emotional breakdown from a YouTube video about a band that I learned about this week. So, wow, didn't expect that kind of emotion. But what I think I've decided to do is I'm gonna go ahead and post this video today of me reacting to the BTS Crash Course 2020. Then, tomorrow, I will post a video of me reacting to Who is BTS, the seven members of Bang Tan. Then, I guess I will push till Tuesday the reaction to BTS performing Black Swan Live. So, with that being said, please make sure you like this video comment down below if you're excited what you got from this video what you got from this entire band as a whole because I just I'm, I am going into this deep hole now and I feel myself sinking help me <laughs> also subscribe to the channel make sure you click the notification bell also so you can be updated when these next videos come out we're gonna turn this into a BTS week I guess on this channel so let's do this ish now because I'm in, baby. I am in. You guys got me. You guys got me. I'm not gonna say that I'm a member of the army yet until I can name all the members by face and by voice, but I'm getting there. So I'm gonna go record these next videos and edit for you. And until next time, bye guys.